next guest. Oh, hmm. interesting. <laughs> Gentlemen, please introduce yourselves. I'm Glenn Berger, and I'm a professional golf ball diver. I'm Glenn Berger, and I'm a professional golf ball diver. I'm Glenn Berger, and I'm a professional golf ball diver. Here's Glenn Berger's story in his own words. When I was unemployed several years ago, I was living near a golf course and decided to make some extra money by retrieving the balls that landed in the water. Little did I know how lucrative this would be. I fish out about 1.5 million balls a year. I still think my career has a fair way to go. But I'm definitely in full swing, and I feel like I've really got golf ball diving down to a tee. <laughs> one of these people is a professional golf ball diver and is the only one sworn to tell the truth. Golf ball divers, dive into your seats. Yeah. Ashley, we're going to start the questions with you. You get to go first. OK, number one, if you had found a Dixon Fire or a Callaway, what should you be more excited about? I'd be more excited about the Dixon Fire. OK. What do you know about Dixon Fire golf balls? <laughs> she know a little bit about balls. <laughs> I do. I do. OK, number two and three, like, would you rather a Dixon Fire or a uh, Callaway? Dixon Fire, yeah, absolutely. I've never heard of a Dixon Fire. OK, all right. <laughs> there we go. Number one. When you're in a mall and you see a kid make a wish and throw a coin in a fountain, are you super pissed? <laughs> Maybe a little. Number two? No, I believe in hope still. <laughs> Number three? I've never seen that happen. <laughs> Number three, what's the scariest thing you have encountered going in the water? I would say... Number three! Oh. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, okay. Three, go ahead. Go ahead. Several times I have come across cars in the water, and one was a suicide. A suicide? I found out afterwards. So you found a body? I didn't see it. And I at what time it. did you find that body, sir? <laughs> <laughs> what time? What time of day was it when you found the body? <laughs> it, it was midday. Number two. Do you have health insurance? <laughs> yes, I do. Who takes care of that? My company does. Your company? What company is that? I'm not allowed to say. Number three, what the hell is he talking about? <laughs> I have no idea. Number one, what's the cleaning process of the balls once you find them? Put them in a cleaning bin. They get scrubbed with some uh, bleach, chemicals, a little bit like swimming pool type, and then it gets rinsed out and dumped back uh, in a box. And then who are you selling the balls to? Uh, I sell them wholesale to all over, mostly Asia. Ashley? What's what? the cleaning process when you find the balls? They come to me freshly cleaned. Okay. Yes. There you go, girl. Number two, will you answer that same question? What's the cleaning process? I get them out of, the, out of my mesh bags, uh, pour them in a cleaning vat. Pretty much, it's like pool chemicals when I put all the balls in. Number uh, three, what the hell is he talking about? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Number three, how do you clean balls after you find them in the murky swamp? They go through uh, diluted bleach. They go through uh, lots of different chemicals to make them look uh, what specific? Uh, white Can you and name shiny. one of the specific chemicals? The other chemicals we don't discuss. That's some <laughs> Number three, after you wash your balls, then what you do? We dry them, we sort them, we, we bag, bag them, them, we, we sell them. Three, where do you sell your balls? Wholesale overseas, mostly to Asia. Asia can't get first run golf balls? Number two, have you seen any alligators or snakes? Or what's the most dangerous thing you encountered? Down of course, there? yeah, alligators for sure. What about you, number one? Uh, I had a snapping turtle once grab a hold of my finger. I didn't like that so much. Hold it up. Let me see the finger. <laughs> it looks intact to me. <laughs> number three, when you jump in the body of water to get the balls, do you pee? I, I pee beforehand and after. You, you pee before and after, but not in the body of water. No, never. You're <laughs> lying. Time's up. It's time to find out who's telling the truth and who's lying. Please, write down your answers. Mom, who do you think it is? I like one and three, but I'm going to go with one. All right, audience, who do you think it is? OK. Adam, who did you pick and why? I picked number two because he was so nervous. 
Okay, Ashley, who did you pick and why? Uh, number two, you seem like an actor to me, so thank you for coming. Um, <laughs> number three, I really thought it was you um, until you kind of failed at Dixon Fire. I chose number one because you're very knowledgeable and you look like a diver. <laughs> Donald, <laughs> who'd you pick and why? All right, two, I'm sorry, I don't think it's you. It sounded like you were trying to be natural. I feel like you failed at it, I'm sorry, bro. One, you just seem to jump on these answers, so I went with you. One, okay. <laughs> Craig, who'd you pick and why? I didn't believe any of them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I thought it was weird, even just, like, unemployed white men. I, <laughs> it, I agree. I didn't pick two. Uh, you look like you're in the next Marvel movie. And <laughs> <laughs> one was a little showmanshipy, and then three felt like he has something to hide. So I went with I went with three. All right. So the guesses are locked in. Will the professional golf ball diver please stand up when we come back after this commercial ah! break? That was a very hard one because they were all very dumb. Welcome back to To Tell the Truth. Now, before the break, our panel decided who they thought was the real professional golf ball diver. Ashley and Donald went with number one. Adam went with number two. Craig went with number three. Mama, who did you pick? One. One. I'm going with number three. Will the real professional golf ball diver please stand up? Yourself. I am Glenn Berger, and I am a real professional golf ball diver. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for our professional golf ball diver. Thank you, brother. We'll see you after the show. That sucks. Okay. As you can see, we've still got two people left.